He's got one going here on his on his slip bobber and worm combo. The fish is swimming up to shore. Go ahead and give him the business, Gene. Oh, reel down some more. Yeah, reel down till you feel him. Real fast. Now you got him. Now set. There you go. Woo! All right. Another feisty little rainbow. Fishhuntshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishhuntshoot.com. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. It is time for our third and final episode focusing on the basics of bank fishing for trout. And today we're going to talk about slip bobbers. Now slip bobbers are absolutely deadly when you're fishing out of a boat or out of a kayak, but they are doubly deadly for bank anglers looking for trout for a couple different reasons. Here's my rig. I'm using one of my seven foot three piece ultralight trout rods. I'm spooled up with four pound fluorocarbon line so I don't have to fuss with a leader. I'm just gonna put my hook right on the end of the line. Let me walk you through this rig and then we'll talk about why slip bobbers are so effective and how you can use them. So let me step up to the camera here. The end of my line, well, let me start from the top. The first thing you're gonna put on your line is right here, see it on my thumb there, is a bobber stop. You're gonna follow that with, catch up with it there, a small bead. Then you're gonna put on your slip bobber right there. In this case, I like a high visibility bobber, so I got a nice chartreuse foam one. Then you put on a split shot, which you can see right there. And finally, I've got this whole thing tipped with a tiny little light wire mosquito hook. Now here's how a slip bobber works. That stop, you can move that bobber stop up and down the length of your line, okay? You can move it up, you can move it down. What determines the depth that you're fishing is the distance between the bobber stop here and the hook. In this case, I'm about three feet to 40, inch, 40 inches deep, which is right where I wanna be. The water's cold, the trout are up near the surface, but this allows me to fish near the surface while casting well offshore. Can't do that with a standard bait rig. If I cast that, that bait rod that I've got soaking over there with a, you know, a standard power bait rig 30, 40 feet offshore, I'm going to be 20, 30 feet deep out there. And I, I'll be beyond the fish. The fish are up near the top. But this slip bobber, it allows me to work near surface water out there. Now, in terms of bait... Um, you can use a lot of different things with a slip bobber. If, uh, if you can use live minnows at the lake you're fishing, they work great. Night crawlers work great. Red worms, mealworms, crickets, salmon eggs. You know, pretty much whatever you have confidence in, you can drift underneath a slip bobber. Today, I'm using just a little piece of an orange and brown gulp crawler. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pin that on my hook. And uh, they're not, they not hook shy with a presentation like this. So I'm just going to pin that hook into the worm, bring it right around, kind of in, in classic, you know, kind of worm fishing fashion. And it looks just like that. Now, when you're all rigged up like that, it's time to cast. With a slip bobber, you don't want to fire it real hard. You want to make a nice lobbing cast. Okay, we'll do that. Just lob it right out there like that there we go now I don't reel in the slack that baits gonna work its way down and I got a little breeze here it's gonna drift that way and you can't see it but right over here I've got a big open water cove so I got a couple choices to make I can let that drift kind of right down past where I'm fishing and I can reel it in or I can walk down past my other rod I can open the bail on this reel and kind of prop it up and just allow it to kind of drift off into the lake cover a whole bunch of, of ground doing that from the bank and anytime you're covering more ground when you're fishing from the bank covering more water the better off you are and the better chance you have a hook and fish so you know slip bobbers super effective way of fishing more guys should be using them it allows you to control the depth it allows you to cover a maximum amount of ground it allows you to fish a bunch of different kinds of baits and uh, when you see something messing with the bobber you let that fish take the bobber under you just start reeling till you catch up with the fish. 
set the hook and it's fish on. Anyway, that's it. That's our three video series on bank fishing for trout. The rest is up to you. Get out to your favorite lake, take some gear, do some experimenting, and start dialing in the approaches that work best for you. Um, if you haven't had a chance to, click on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Production store. You might want to pick up one of these three-piece ultralight rods. It is a smoking deal over there. We've got a lot of great gear at great prices. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, we will catch you next time right here on YouTube. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have a Fish Hunt Shoot Productions channel. And uh, we really appreciate all the support you guys have given us in uh, 2019. And we will be back in 2020 with a bunch more fishing content. We're going to catch a bunch of trout, and we are going to help you guys catch more and bigger fish. I'm Kel Kellogg. You have a great day. I'll catch you later.